Hey guys, I had mentioned in a prior video about a Sony video capture unit that this space here on my desk was normally occupied by a Tandy or Radio Shack color computer from the 1980s. And you can see mine now occupying this space instead of the Sony. And I've got my speech sound cartridge plugged in. I've got an iPod and an iPod dock. And I've got my original or a original audio data cassette recorder. Now you'll see that there are three plugs plugged into the data recorder here. And at the other end of this is like a MIDI type plug that's plugged into the back. So that's in at the cassette interface on the back of the computer. So in order to do this, you will need to go to a website that's in the video description, download some WAV files, put them in iTunes, load them to an iPod or in this case, an iPhone. And then I would also recommend one of these docks like you see here, just a regular iPod dock, vintage one. So on the back is a jack, a line out, and of course on the top of the phone is a jack. So you'd say, well, I can just take the audio jack, audio plug, out of the jack here and plug it into one of these. Now you can plug it into the top right there, but I've had issues with it loading those programs from the top but I've had really good success plugging it into this line out here on this dock. So that is the way I would recommend doing it, okay? So once you have that plugged in, then you can look at your long list of games that are available on the internet. And what these are actually are audio files. So that is the way this com computer communicated with the cassette deck. And the only other way to save games was with a floppy disk drive that cost more than this computer cost. In any case, I can go up to the computer and I can type C load M because this is a machine language program. All of these are. And I can just grab a particular file and tap on it. It'll start playing the file and then look over at the computer. You can see that it is actually loading. So this is the the game Dungeons of Daggereth, which was actually a cartridge game, so it's pretty cool that somebody has uh, ripped it, so to speak, to this format. So again, you'll need to download the files and move your cables from the cassette deck over to your iPod and load your programs that way. So good luck to you if you decide to do this, and we'll see you next time.